well. Joseph the hero's plot points could be seen coming from a mile away. Joseph saves Richard's life and Richard is now indebted to Joseph. And so, as we all know, whenever something good happens to Joseph, he has to become a complete jerk. In this case, Joseph forces Richard to do a bunch of stuff, including... Yeah, so anyway, later into the video, Richard has to steal from Goodman's safe. Goodman finds this out, and so he has to call the police. Oh no, not these two again. Okay, let's just skip to the end. Goodman finds out Richard stole from his safe, he gets grounded, 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 and... Yeah, that's it. The Joseph plotline stopped a little over halfway into the video, and nothing really got resolved on that front. So, 3 out of 10. There were a couple funny jokes, like Richard not knowing what blueberries are, but... Yeah, no, this video is just bad. So, Chef Pee Pee Goes to Hollywood was actually kinda interesting. Chef Pee Pee gets a call saying Jason Derulo wants Chef Pee Pee to be his personal chef. Why? I have no clue. However, Chef Pee Pee cooks about as well as he'd think he would, and so Jason Derulo tells Chef Pee Pee to get lost. However, as luck would have it, Junior is also in the area for some reason, and they manage to find a ton of money in a bag. However, it turns out this was the Mafia's money, and the Lone Dolphin was sent to track down whoever took the money. Junior eventually finds a loophole in this, but in order to satisfy the Mafia boss, who's... Goodman... Yeah, okay. Chef PP has to make an amazing meal, which somehow works. So, this video was... Actually, 8 out of 10 material. It was actually somewhat unique, and they actually went outside the house for this video. One of my big gripes, though, has to be that the scenes outside the house didn't last long. However, pretty much every joke landed well, and there were some really unique shots in this video. Also, Chris is back as the lone dolphin, so that means the Chris drought is officially over. So, good job, Logan. Hopefully the next video is just as... Well, it was fun while it lasted. In fact, let's just skip to the end here. This video is a 5 out of 10, perfectly middle of the road. We've got another one of Rosalina's ex-boyfriends showing up, named Super D, although he's played by Chris, and... Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not a big fan of the character. As for the video as a whole, some of the jokes landed, others didn't. I did like Brooklyn Guy's return, and the outside scenes were okay enough. But the plot to this video, the new character, and so on, weren't so good. Also, this is one of those videos that had one of those fake emotional endings. You know the ones, the ones where, oh, the character is going to be good from now on, but nope, next video they're bad again. The video's fine, I guess, but it's not anything spectacular either. Speaking of the next video... Well, we've got Jeffy and Junior sneak to Disney World. Another Disney World video. Except a grand total of only a couple minutes was spent at Disney World, so... What was the point of that? The rest of this video was mainly just filler. Yeah, this is a 2 out of 10. Not only is it another Disney World video that didn't need to exist, but it wasn't even very funny and was extremely filler heavy. In fact, I can only remember one joke that actually made me laugh, and it came from Chris. What a shocker. Bowser Jr.'s Apple Watch. It's Bowser Jr.'s 3DS. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Think about it. Jr. wants something Joseph and Cody have. Jr. asks Bowser for it. And Bowser gives Junior something kinda similar, but not what he wanted. Despite this, Junior tries to convince his friends he's just as cool. Literally the first roughly two-thirds of the video might as well be identical. As for the remaining third? Well, it's actually almost sorta interesting, almost maybe. Cody goes and steals his mom's purse in the hopes of finding her credit card, but they get caught thanks to the help of the tracking pineapple. Yes, really. Junior decides to just blackmail Cody's mom for the Apple Watch, and... Yeah, that's it. So... Meh. 4.5 out of 10. The first portion of the video gets docked points because it was literally a repeat of Bowser Jr.'s 3DS. The second portion is okay, but it was rather short. But it was... at least a bit creative? 
yeah, that's all I can really give this video. It had a couple funny jokes too, but that's about it. Also, do people even use smartwatches? Like seriously, for the most part it's just a smartphone with extra steps. Well, thank you all for watching SML Batch Reviews episode 22, and take care. And why aren't you in uniform? Thank <laughs> you.